Hello everyone. Hola, bienvenidos a todos. Welcome. My name is Megan. Very soon we are going to have class together with Open English Mode. Muy pronto vamos a tener clase juntos con Open English Mode. Estoy preparando la clase para Facebook y Instagram. Remember, you can participate in Open English Mode classes to practice your English and communicate with other English learners. So envía tus comentarios para practicar y participar. Por ejemplo, antes de la clase, ustedes pueden practicar cómo estás, de dónde eres. For example, my name is Megan. I am doing great today. I am from the United States. Envía tus comentarios. ¿Cómo estás y de dónde eres? And in unos minutos, vamos a tener clase juntos con Open English Mode. So very soon, we will have class together with Open English Mode. I see people are starting to watch us here. Great to see you. Hoy vamos a discutir el día de San Patricio. Today, we are going to discuss St. Patrick's Day. That is tomorrow, so you can prepare some vocabulary for St. Patrick's Day. So welcome everyone, bienvenidos. Hi Yolanda, great to see you again. Yolanda, I think I remember you are from Nicaragua, right? Como estas? How is the weather in Nicaragua? And very soon we will have class together. We're just preparing some things here on Instagram. Hello, everyone. Great to see you. Hola. Hi, Isa or Isa. Oh, Isaura from Guatemala. Excellent. Welcome. I remember you. Thank you for coming back to class. It is great to see you today. Muy pronto vamos a practicar inglés juntos. Hoy vamos a estudiar vocabulario para el día de San Patricio. Today we are going to study vocabulary for St. Patrick's Day. Hello, Elmer. Elmer says hello from Peru. Welcome. Good. Are you excited about St. Patrick's Day? Do you have special celebrations in your countries? Yolanda says, I am very well. Good. Great, Yolanda. Excellent. Muy bien. Hello, Sebastian. Welcome. Great to see you. We are just getting the technology ready for today's class. Y muy pronto vamos a tener clase juntos. Ustedes pueden practicar tu inglés. Hello, Norisabeth. Welcome. Great to see you. So, en unos minutos vamos a tener clase. Hello, Espinosa. Great to see you again. Welcome back. Espinosa is a very dedicated student. Hello, Gerardo from Colombia. Excellent. Welcome. Y hola a todos. Mi nombre es Megan. My name is Megan. I am a teacher with Open English. Very soon, we are going to start Open English Mode together. So thank you for watching today. Hello, Antonio. Good morning. Great to see you. Remember, you can participate in Open English Mode. So you can send comments to practice your English and to participate. OK, so es hora vamos a comenzar. Let's get started here. Hello, Roy. Roy says hello from Costa Rica. Good. We have a very international group today. That's great. So hello, everyone, and welcome. Bienvenidos a Open English Mode. Diez minutos de inglés gratis con Open English. Mi nombre es Megan de Chicago, Estados Unidos. Y soy profesora de inglés con seis años de experiencia enseñando en Open English. Hoy vamos a hablar sobre vocabulario para el día de San Patricio. So today we are going to talk about vocabulary for St. Patrick's Day. Good. Do you know any vocabulary about St. Patrick's Day? Well, we are getting ready on Instagram here. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hola, bienvenidos a todos. Estamos estudiando vocabulario para el día de San Patricio. So, envía tus comentarios para participar y practicar en clase hoy. Send your comments to practice and to participate today. Okay, let's begin. Let's look at some vocabulary for St. Patrick's Day. 
So we want to try to match the word or phrase to the pictures. Match as emparejar and send comments to share your answers. Envie tus comentarios. I will read the English options. Try to identify the pictures. Letter A, sham rocks, sham rocks. Letter B, Irish, Irish. Letter C, leprechaun, leprechaun. Letter D, Ireland, Ireland. Letter E, rainbow, rainbow. And letter F, pot of gold, pot of gold. So envy tus comentarios, try to match the words to the pictures and we will verify the answers together. I see many people are responding on Instagram. Great, Fernanda. Fernanda has the correct response to number one. Juan says hello. Good. This vocabulary relates to St. Patrick's Day, El Dia de San Patricio. So let me watch for your comments here. Good, more people are saying hello. Hello, Esperanza. Hello, Patty. Welcome. El Día de San Patricio es mañana. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. So we are practicing vocabulary together. Let's check our answers. Vamos a verificar las respuestas. So we can see that in picture number one, this matches letter E, rainbow, rainbow. Article iris en español. Picture number two is letter F, pot, oh yeah, pot of gold. We see many gold pieces here. Picture number three matches letter D. This is the country of Ireland. This is where St. Patrick's Day started. And picture number four is letter B, Irish. So Ireland is the country, el país. Irish is the nationality. People who live in Ireland are Irish. Picture number five matches letter C, leprechaun. Leprechaun, y vamos a leer sobre leprechauns. And picture number six matches letter A, shamrocks, shamrocks. I don't know if you can see, I have a shamrock decoration here on my sweater for St. Patrick's Day. Shamrocks are popular on St. Patrick's Day. Good, great participation, great vocabulary. Let's learn a little bit about culture. Y envía tus comentarios. Hola a todos, bienvenidos. Estamos practicando inglés con Open English Mode. Diez minutos de inglés gratis con Open English. Envía tus comentarios para participar aquí. Do you have, tienes, the luck of the Irish? Are you a lucky person? Envía tus comentarios y vamos a leer juntos. So St. Patrick's Day is celebrated around the world on March 17th. It honors St. Patrick, a historical figure in Irish history. Elements from Irish culture, like the color green, we see the color green here, leprechauns, and sayings about luck, luck es suerte en español, are associated with this day, with St. Patrick's Day. Let's talk about leprechauns. Leprechauns are magical beings. Legends say they hide pots of gold, esconden hoyas de oro, at the end of rainbows. And the phrase, the luck of the Irish, means that someone has good luck, buena suerte. So what about you? Do you have the luck of the Irish? Are you a lucky person? And we have tus comentarios para participar. Compartir tus experiencias. Do you have good luck? What do you think? Do you have the luck of the Irish? I see more people say hello. Hello, Carla. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Carolina. Hello, Juan Carlos. Do you have the luck of the Irish? For example, I will say this. I am a lucky person. I have good luck. Buena suerte. I have the luck of the Irish. So on St. Patrick's Day, when people talk about the luck of the Irish, they are talking about good luck. Good, I see more people are saying hello. Good, hello, Anna. Good, many people say they have good luck. Excellent, very good. Great participation here, good. 
people from many different countries here have good luck. Excellent. Okay, let's learn some expressions together. Y hola a todos, bienvenidos a Open English Mode. Diez minutos de inglés gratis con Open English. Estamos practicando inglés juntos. Let's learn some expressions together about luck. Luck, suerte en español. So envía tus comentarios. Can you match the meanings to the expressions? And try practice using the expressions in your own sentence. Try to practice. So I will read the expressions and possible definitions in English. Envía tus comentarios para practicar, para identificar which definition matches the expression. Expression number one, this is just my luck. Expression number two, I shouldn't push my luck. And expression number three, I really lucked out. So possible definitions here are letter A, I had some unexpected good luck. Letter B, I generally have bad luck and this is an example. Or letter C, I don't want to take an unnecessary risk. What do you think? Envia tus comentarios. And we will watch for your answers together. So send your comments. I will watch for your answers here. What do you think? Can you try to match the expressions and the definitions together in English? This is just my luck. I shouldn't push my luck. I really lucked out. Let me watch for your comments here. Good, many people are saying good morning. Hello, good. Good, okay, let's do one together. Maybe this can help you to identify some correct responses. Number one, this is just my luck, just my luck. Here, this expression, matches letter B. This means I generally have bad luck and this is an example of it. So what do you think? This is just my luck is B. Number one is B. Well, what about number two? Let's see here and we're just uh, resolving some Instagram video issues here. So what about Expression number two, do you think this is A or C? Envia tus comentarios. I shouldn't push my luck. Does this mean A or C? Okay, here we go. We're back on Instagram, I think here. What about number two? Hello everyone, welcome back. Lo siento. We are practicing expressions together. Oh, good, I see Arturo has many great responses here. Arturo says that number two matches letter C. Yes, Arturo, you are correct. I shouldn't push my luck means I don't want to take an unnecessary risk. And number three, I really lucked out. We can see now that this matches letter A. I had some unexpected good luck. Unexpected is Inesperado. Excellent. Great work. It can be difficult to understand expressions in a new language. Very nice work today. Great participation. So let's talk about you. Y hola a todos. Bienvenidos a Open English Mode. Diez minutos de inglés gratis con English. Uh, con Open English. Estamos practicando inglés para el día de San Patricio. En tus comentarios, what cultural holidays are celebrated in your country, in tu país. Do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day or other holidays? Y vamos a leer juntos. St. Patrick's Day originated in Ireland, but anyone can celebrate this day. Many United States cities celebrate cultures from around the world. For example, on St. Patrick's Day, the city of Chicago dyes its river green. You can see in the picture, the river is green for St. Patrick's Day because green is associated with this holiday. U.S. cities celebrate other cultural holidays like Oktoberfest, that celebrates German culture, 
or Chinese New Year. So what about you? What cultural holidays are celebrated in your country? And which is comentarios? Do you celebrate any special days? Do you have special cultural holidays? Do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day or maybe something like Oktoberfest? Cinco de Mayo. I will watch for your answers. More people are saying hello. Hello, Emilio. Good, very good, excellent. Great practice here, good. Okay, let me just add some examples here. So maybe we can say in my country, we celebrate Cinco de Mayo. This is a holiday related to Mexico. In my country, we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. This holiday relates to Ireland. Any other ideas or examples? Oh, good, I see many people are saying hello. Good, great. Excellent, okay, great participation today. Annalise says hello, good, wonderful. Well, it is time to finish today's class. Oh, I see one example from Arturo, Los Carnavales de Carmaca. Great, thank you for sending an example, Arturo, very nice. So thank you everyone for your great participation in today's Open English Mode class. Espero que les haya gustado la clase de hoy. Los esperamos el próximo lunes para que aproveche 10 minutos más de inglés gratis con Open English. Y no lo olvides, inscríbete a nuestro curso en openenglish.com para que domines el inglés tan rápido como tú decidas. ¡Te esperamos!